I saw someone make a giant bee, so now I'm gonna do it. Now I gotta stuff it. He's all filled up now. Now I have to close it and add his face features. Um, so now I have three big bees. And look, they have art on their butts. Oh. <laughs> Hi TikTok! So I received a lot of really positive feedback for my jellyfish amigurumi that I posted a little while ago and I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all that. Uh, really like your comments and all that make my day and I also had a lot of people asking if I'd be selling my jellyfish and I was like, you know what? why not? At first I wasn't sure. I didn't know like where to post it, all that. But I do have an Etsy shop with my sister. We sell our macrame wall hangings and like plant hangers and stuff on there. But I was like, let's just use that and I'll put a listing for the jellyfish. So right now I have um, the three final like or like finished pieces are on there and they're just ready to ship i can send them out whenever and then i also opened up 15 spots for custom jellies and you can pick the colors and if you want to have a little hanger on them or not and then you know they'll be like make as as i get the order kind of thing there's a word for that but i can't think of it um but yeah link in bio check it out
made my own super fluffy reversal ball out of a doll. Yay! First of all, I prepared a hot and light pink colored yarns and also a crochet hook. Then I start crocheting with the hot pink yarn making the top of the hat, the body, and also the tentacles. Now I already have my angry octopus. Wow, it takes almost a ball of yarn to make one. Next, I will be doing the same thing to the light pink yarn from the hat and the body and also the tentacles. After that, I'm gonna place the happy octopus under and inside the angry octopus like this. And after that, I'm gonna sew them together using this transparent yarn. My, my, I can already see how cute it's gonna be. Time to make the eyes by using felt and attach them to the doll. Oh yes, don't forget to smile too. <laughs> oh, my, the happy octopus is so adorable. It's angry octopus time and done. Finally, I have what I need. Please don't forget to tap love if you love I have it too. A confession to make. My sister's birthday was September 9, and this past year I did not get her a gift. She's been asking for a crochet turtle for a while, so I finally decided to make her one for a very late birthday gift. I ended up making two different designs, so TikTok, let me know which one is your favorite. Turtle number one, or turtle number two? Anyone else guilty of forgetting birthday gifts? This is my process for how I design a make a roomie. I always start with a sketch and make sure that it's in proportion so that I can refer to it later for sizing. Um, I then make some notes on how I think I'll go about making each part. Um, Google is your friend. Um, if I'm ever stuck on how to make a certain shape, I can usually find a tutorial out there somewhere. Um, I then make a part list just to make sure that I know exactly what I need to make and how I'm going to do it. Um, from there, all that's left to do is start. Um, I usually start with the head um, because I feel like it's a good place to start and making other things from there is a little bit easier once you have the head. Um, write down everything as you go. You're going to have a very messy notebook. There'll be a lot of trial and error, but that's kind of the way it is. It's a learning process, but you'll get there in the end. Happy crocheting! So I had a little bit left of the pink fluffy yarn and you guys have been asking me to make baby bees like key rings so I did it finally and I made them in some different colours so these are available in my shop. Thank you. 